Oh, hello there, hello there. How are you? Yes, yes. You are here for the virtual haircut? Yes, yes, okay. I will go get Luigi. He will come and cut your hair. Uh, I, I am Manuel. Just, just stay right there. Uh, Luigi? Luigi? coming up right now and meanwhile I will go over here and play the music play the guitar because that is what I do here at the barber shop ah it's so nice to see you welcome to the Starkey Cetera barber shop and your virtual haircut I'd like to start the demonstration by moving over to your right-hand side and picking up at this bag. If you just hold still for a second, I'll put this bag over your head. Just like that. The bag over the top of the head. And now I'll take the bag off. There we go. The only reason I did that is because all of the fancy barbershops do that. What you're listening to as I move off to your right here and very quickly wash my hands. Manuel, can you get that, please? Oh, thank you, Manuel. Let me finish washing my hands here. Just uh, bear with me for a few more seconds. Ah, there we go. Ah, oh, yes. As I was saying, all we are doing is using your head as the listening point. And we have two microphones, one on either side of the head, in the same position as where your left and your right ears are. Your brain is doing all of the work, telling you where the sounds are coming from. Okay, I'll go get the scissors. Oh, it's nice sharp. Now, as I begin the clipping, and I bring the clippers closer to your ear. Very closer to the right ear. Follow me as I move around the back of the head to the left ear. And up and over the top of the head. Okay. Now, you can get the same effect better with the electric razor. I'll first bring it close to your right ear. It's a perfect and around the back, and onto your left. Ah, yes. I think that looks so wonderful. Manuel, what do you think? Huh? What? Oh, oh, yes. Yes, it looks wonderful, Luigi. You do such nice work. Ah, thank you so much, Manuel. So fast, too. Now, as I walk around, I just want to tell you once more that your ability to hear where I am as I walk around the room is simply the amazing power of your brain. Calculating the tiny differences or cues in sound intensity and arrival time from two open ears. And unlike any other hearing instrument, only one has the digital algorithm that negates its own physical presence in the ear to fully restore those differences. That algorithm is called Sedera. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you so much for stopping by the Starkey Virtual Barber Shop. Goodbye, and arrivederci. Because she symbolizes you. All of your pain, 
your sorrow, depression, fear, all of your hate, your jealousy, your longing for violence. She is the physical embodiment of your insanity. As a matter of fact, we all are. You cannot run from us. There is no nook, or cranny, or hole in the earth in which you can hide from me, from her, or from any of us. We are your inner demons, and no human can ever escape from the evil that breeds inside of his mind. You are helpless to our power. You can only watch as we eat your sanity away. You were awake. You're lucky they let you live. But it won't stand the torture that is yet to come. <coughs> just, just don't say a word. Shut up, you filthy Hungarian scum. <coughs> You're lucky to be alive in the Soviet Russia, who would feed you to the bears at least two days ago. These goddamn Americans don't even know how to torture people anymore. I do not pay you to make insightful comments, Bruno. Please, resume your position in the corner. You know I'm right. Well, I tell you to our new guest. No, you are awake. Good, 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 good. I have been wanting to speak with you for quite some time now. <sighs> my, my, my. How are the mighty fallen? Bet you didn't expect to end up like this, huh? You have been down here a long time. You must be parched. Let me get you some water. It's photo, but what can you do in this country? Unfortunately, there is only enough for me. But you look like a really tough guy. I've heard about the trainings they put you guys through. My delicious. Take Bruno here, for example. His training back in Russia involved killing bears. My bare hands. No pun intended. Well, to be honest, I still have to figure out exactly which training you went through. In that end, who do you work for? Science, eh? Well, I did not really expect you to answer that question. Fortunately, we have ways to make people talk around here. Bruno has brought some toys back from the old country. That is gruesome and painful. Bruno, you really have outdone yourself this time. Thank you, boss. I uh, shall not partake in this gruesome and barbaric business. I think that you sure from Detroit. Bruno, open the cage, will you? Oh, okay, boss. I mean, 
I came there with the fire. Who knows? What thing is this? I know that he raped a pair of hands. Hello, my friend. Uh, hello, Sean. How do you like the cage? It's bigger than the last one. No, Bruno. Make sure our guest stays alive. You know how she will be. Yes, boss. So this is a guy? Ain't much of you. You're the silent type, right? They're all silent in the beginning. Like my wife. But they're all silent in the end. Like my wife. So we've got some toys here. But first, I'm going to cut your hand. <laughs> you thought that the first thing that I was going to do was to stab you? No, I like to play with my food. Well, speaking of food, there's a cheese grate down here. Hear the sound of that sweet baby? Oh yeah. Mm, well, maybe a cheese grate would be too uh, juicy. No, no, too juicy. Yeah, too juicy. No, I know. A saw. You know what a saw is? I know my father knew what a saw was. I taught him. Oh, wait, wait. Hang on a second. Ishtar, you've screamed enough, haven't you? Yes, I have. Yes. No, no, no. Not in that way. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. And for you to see the light. You must die!
napkin on. Start cleaning and stealing your teeth. around the section. Cinnamon, raspberry, or strawberry polish. Alright, I'm going to rinse again. Turn that, get all this water up. Set the chair up. And those are doctors come in. Judge. How's everything feeling for you? Any problem spots that you've noticed at all? Alright, I'll have you open it for me. Yeah, 28 looks fine in the uh, A little bit of stain, but definitely no catch. I'm not seeing any cavity there. All right. Well, as usual, you look pretty good. Tissues look good. I can probably tell everybody to floss a little more, so make sure you're getting that floss in there for me. But nothing I need to pick on you for. I think things look good. Any questions for me?